and welcome to the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary. We are located in Mays Landing, New Jersey, and this is our 26th live video, I believe. So we started doing the live videos uh, during COVID because all of our visitors, we were open every Tuesday and every Sunday without fail, whether it was a holiday or whether it was raining or snowing, we would, we, you could count on us to be open. So it's the first time in our history that the governor closed uh, places like everybody down and uh, so we were shut down and it was a big owie on us as well as everyone however we run on donations only and uh, without people we really weren't getting too many donations we had our few supporters that were amazing uh, but that's why we are and we were gonna stop them once we open back up but because of popular demand and people were tuning in from all over we decided we're gonna keep it going so that being said, please let us know where you're from. We are so excited to hear, and I'm gonna try and not run over Matt. So I am here on my skid steer. This was donated to me. Um, it is a 226B is the model, and this is my own personal machine that I've had for quite some time. And I used to use a wheelbarrow and a shovel, and now some of my volunteers are a little spoiled and they want to use the machine. So this is our manure pit. This is where we put the manure and you can see we produce a lot here. So every so often, oh, like every other day, we have to scoop it up, right? And we have to take that out and then we dump it into our manure pit that's further back, which is a compost. And we do, oh, we want to go the other way. <laughs> We do let people take it home for their gardens and we ran it with our gardens and it, I'm telling you this manure is bar none the best. Um, there's no fertilizer in it, just natural fertilizer and hay and whatever else is at the farm. So we use this, excuse me? Matt did not fall in the manure pit. That would have been better than falling in the pool, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna go dump this off, and I think Matt will be showing you guys some animals while I'm gone. I'm gonna just do one scoop, but I wanted to show you that it is hard sometimes with doing everything that we have to do, and volunteers, you have to know how to work this. Only uh, one other volunteer works this besides me. Cooper times they're so excited to see all of you here so they act up a little bit sometimes <laughs> so there I don't know where Cooper is I'm not over there yet we see Jolly the goat <laughs> is trying to get one of the visitors apples and carrots and then Karen Hagar here is talking about the donkeys. We have Tico and Eeyore. Oh, he's poking her in the butt to say hello. Pet me. They're very, they're big attention hogs. Oh, and then, yeah, let's go look at them. So where's Cooper? I haven't even seen him. Well, we'll get him out. But this, thank you, Karen. This is a, a group of volunteers. You can see they are scooping manure and that's why our manure pit got so full so quickly today because we have a team, I believe, of high schoolers. I think it's for their, um, I think it's for, no, I'm not really sure what it's for, but they have, we have different volunteer groups, whether it be softball or, um, I'm having, what do they call that? And I was in it. Oh, and National Honor Society. Society. The one that you got kicked out of. Yeah, Matt says I got kicked out of the National Honor Society. <laughs> we did not have to do volunteer hours when I was in it. 
and these kids have to, which is great for us because they usually come to the Funny Farm to volunteer. Eeyore is a sweetheart. Most donkeys are very sweet. They take food out of your hand really closely. I mean, closely, very nicely. <laughs> this is my big boy. You're up late with the wedding. I would, yes. So we had, uh, <laughs> Matt's reminding me, I was up late last night. We had a wedding here. We had, uh, I think, 50,000 people tuned in yes. for the wedding yes. in one day. Uh, it was an impromptu thing. Courtney and Matt got engaged here. We had Sox, who was 39 years old, uh, came up and surprised Courtney with the ring. around. The horse had it around his neck and walked up to the tractor where Courtney and Matt were. And Matt got down on one knee and engaged on May 7th, 2017. They moved to Georgia quickly thereafter. And by the way, it was our most popular post. Everybody loves engagement, happy stories or wedding stories. So it was our first time that we had posted about somebody getting engaged here and it, it just went crazy. So we were sad they moved to Georgia and we would have been like, you know, it would have been really cool if they got married here. Well, this year, yesterday, they got married at the funny farm outside very small close family group um the animals attended sadly socks passed away last year um, of old age obviously um horses don't live long into their 20s and he lived long into his 30s so he was almost 40 year old, years old when he passed and he was a sweetheart this is one of those horses that walked around loose he kept going up to one lady, not yesterday, and obviously three, th more than three years ago, was going up to this one lady and kept smelling her stomach. And I said, well, you obviously have food in your pockets. And she's like, no, he won't leave me alone. She called me the next day and said, Lori, I was pregnant. I'm pregnant. And I didn't know that I was pregnant. Socks knew. So you know how these animals can, you know, detect things or they feel things or smell things. That horse knew that that woman was pregnant when no one else did. And, uh... It's amazing what animals can do. We have some animals that will, you know, detect cancer and, you know, we had the bomb sniffers and all that, but it's amazing what these animals can do. So let's move away. 10 with machines. Let's stop right now. Not now, okay, a few minutes. So we're, we're one of my, my uh, volunteers was gonna run some equipment, but we don't want, I'm pretty loud, but I don't wanna, face off with that. Okay, come here, your hair is messy. <laughs> what did you do? You need a comb, Star. Oh, excuse me, Matt. <laughs> so you can see, Yogi has no sleeves on his horns. They have been ordered. Yogi had poked Cooper, which is our black alpaca, which he's I don't see him. He's out here. He's, out here. he's outside. Somebody told, gave me bad info and said he was still in here. But we had to put, okay, don't. I'm not going to be mean to mom. He's like, yes, I am. He's like, he thinks that I put, uh, oh, I did put the sleeves on and they have a ball on the end. And he can definitely be playful, so we have to always be careful. Because he doesn't realize that those things can poke people. Oh, oh, that's what he wanted. Oh, does that feel good? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at him with his tongue. Look, are you, and your, your teeth are showing. He just wanted a chin rub. Well, it's hard to get that right there, right? You know, we all have that itchy spot. Like, can you scratch that for me? You'll see them rubbing up against the tree. But uh, he gets out, let, let out at night, but not during the day with people just because of his big horns. Does that feel good? You want me to get this side? Okay, yeah. How about this side too? We're making even. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Does that feel good? All right. My nails will be black. I have no nails, so I'm hoping it's helping him just rubbing him. Um, here's Ricky the Peacock and two little ones. Can you see them? Uh, oh yeah, Ricky the Peacock is a white peacock. He is the only white peacock that we own that is white, white. That is a male. He gets big white plumes. They molt and then they lose their big feathers and then they come back next year. Um, he got hit by a car. They said he would never walk again. Ricky and Lucy the Ricardos lived here together. They were my only peacocks. They, the vet said, no, he'll never walk again. He lived in my kitchen for three months. And because I found out that he wasn't in much pain, I decided to build him a pen, a corn crib, and put a bungee cord along with 
uh, a harness on him. I figured he could bounce around so he won't get bed sores. And by the time I finished building the corn crib cage for him, uh, he was walking. <laughs> so not only did he walk, even though he had a broken back, he also had him and Lucy had a baby. And then that baby, little Lucy, had a baby. So we have three generations of the Ricardos here. <laughs> uh, I want to, I'm going to leave T-Bone, I mean, T-Bone and, and Yogi. This is Yogi. That's T-Bone. He is, that's okay. We don't need to walk. He, he's okay. good. He's laying down. I wanted to say thank you to everybody. We'll go back to the wedding in a minute. Oh, that was, that was Ricky saying, hi. <laughs> Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that supported us or played in our golf tournament. It was touch and go. It, we started, we were going to have it on uh, a Thursday in August. And because of the pandemic, we decided to try and move it. So we moved it to this past Thursday and all sorts of issues, of course, with the pandemic going on. We had porta potties. We weren't allowed in the building. So everybody that played were troopers. They didn't care. We couldn't have our big dinner. We couldn't have our basket giveaways, which some people would just come for the dinner and the baskets, uh, you know, the raffle baskets, which is always so much fun. And it was so strange. We played golf and everybody went home. Um, so I want to say thank you to everybody. We had more sponsors this year than we've ever had. And thank you to the sponsors because we have had really just two trivias nights through Expiro uh, with Nor'easter Nick, but we have not had any other fundraisers other than the golf tournament. Oh, Cooper, look who showed up. He's like, hello, there's a group of people and they're ignoring me. <laughs> He's like, hello, I'm right here. <laughs> so Cooper is the alpaca that Yogi with the horns, the cow, he's a Jersey milker male steer. He and Cooper were best friends. I think they're still best friends, but we had to separate them. He poked them in the side and he had to be rushed to the hospital. He was there for about a week, a little bit over a week, and he's good to go now. His hair is, his, his fiber, his hair is growing in. He's usually a big fluffy man, like a abominable snowman. We say they're the, the best insulators. They don't get cold no matter what the weather. They don't go in their house very much. The snow will stay on them for days because their heat stays in it doesn't radiate out but he he's amazing um he wants to be back in with yogi but until we get him his protective sleeve horns they have the ball on the top we won't be able to do that so they see each other through the fence he's looking like hello you have a shovel but where's my food so you can see um what group are you guys Sean, ah, oh, you guys are Shawnee. Are you National Honor Society? Yeah. Matt, I was right. Well, Matt had to help me remember. So I was in the National Honor Society. Matt says I get kicked out. Um, but we never had to do volunteer work. So you're on our live video today. So you can have evidence that you guys were all here. So you guys are about 45 minutes away. I, I grew up in Turnersville in Washington Township, so I wasn't too far. We used to play you guys. Uh, when I was growing, not you guys, you guys weren't even thought of when I was, <laughs> when I was there, but thank you guys for coming. Cause I know it's a little bit of a haul. Have any of you been here before? No. Awesome. Well, can, I'm Lori, the owner, by the way, thank you for coming. And I saw you in there. You obviously are right at home with animals. They come right up to you uh, as you see. And we do have waters for volunteers, um, over by the store if anybody All needs right, them. Thank so thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Thank you. So it's really great to know that you can get community service, um, volunteer hours here. Um, if you just want to help out, if you want to teach your kids about it, we don't have any age group. We are open Tuesdays and Sundays from eight to four. We're located in Mays Landing, New Jersey, which is 45 minutes from Atlantic City, New Jersey, and then about an hour from Philadelphia. Pennsylvania for those who are in like Nova Scotia <laughs> or England or UK or you know we have quite a few people so just to give you an idea um, where we are located it is I don't have my watch on Lynn I'm out of from Massachusetts that she loved the wedding yesterday Massachusetts wedding thank you so much we couldn't believe it, it was just a very impromptu thing they were getting married I was helping park cars I was scooping poop before the wedding you know whatever it takes because 
the animals don't stop pooping because there's a wedding. <laughs> so right beforehand, we're like, oh my gosh, they're getting married right here, and they have their beautiful white chairs. The donkeys came and decided to rub up against all the chairs, so the chairs were all wiped down, our volunteers got them all set up, and here comes the donkeys, they're like bowling balls. I mean, bo bowling pins, <laughs> they were knocking them all down. We're like, seriously? <laughs> but we can't lock them up, it's their home. It's just part of it. And I can tell you, Matt and Courtney were the most gracious, loving, wonderful guests to have, to have their wedding here. They are like, hey, whatever happens, if they want to join into the wedding, we're okay with that. Where there are some weddings, they might not want that. <laughs> they might not be as understanding, but um, this couple have been through. Um, uh oh, he's trying. Maybe you guys pick up the bucket out of her hand. They, they, animals can, yeah, just so you have it. And <laughs> there you go. Sorry, he's like, he he's like, hello, I know you have some food and I'm coming to get it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I saw this kid go, <laughs> So, so you have to be careful if you come to visit. Don't give your two year old the bucket. <laughs> because the animals just are going to take it from them. And, yeah, he pushes them a little bit. Sorry, I'm. We just don't want. You were that was on. Our, you're on our live video, so you can watch your kids later. Almost get eaten. No, I'm kidding. So, so wait. So back to the wedding. Um, it wound up being. So Matt said, "Hey, why don't we do a live video?" Okay. So I had Nikki outside because she was screaming her head off. Nikki is the cockatoo. He's she's about this big and she's white and she is loud. She's been on a few live videos. Thank goodness she stayed up too late last night and she's being quiet today, so I'm letting her sleep. Uh, but she was at the gate greeting all the people with me, and then Matt said, let's do a live video, so we did. And then we asked Matt, the groom, and the bride if we could possibly do a live video. So we were going to do it from far away while they were saying their vows. However, Courtney was fashionably late, so we... <laughs> walked all around the wedding area, the venue, and to see where what everybody was doing, and it wound up being a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a very small, intimate spot to get married. We have not done many. You have to know us. We don't advertise. This is our first time we kind of advertise because it was on live video. You can't kind of can't keep a secret then. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's not for everybody. I told the people yesterday that the first wedding we ever had, Cowboy, our naughty goat, came and ate all the flowers off the aisle, which he's right here. Let's go see Cowboy. All, uh, ate all the flowers off the aisle while they were saying their vows. So although it was kind of cute at first that he was eating fla the flowers off the aisle, it wasn't cute when no one was looking at the bride and groom while they were saying the vows. So we had to stop like time out on the wedding and try and get him away from everyone. <laughs> Uh, so they can kind of watch what was going on with the wedding and not spoil their special day. Billy. So Billy is out. That will let me show you why Billy is out. So we have Billy, Rye, uh, Coconut, and Cowboy. Cowboy's the naughty one. He is a La Mancha goat. See how he has little tiny ears here? They, are, they do have ears. They're just little. This is an Alpine goat. Can you see how big his ears are? This is Billy. He was in his terrible twos for the longest time, and he was butting cages and sometimes people. He's actually a sweetheart. He lived in my house for a bit, so he's definitely a little mommy's boy. However, his enclosure area was taken, right? Uh, there were three goats on their way to slaughter. A woman was unable to keep them any longer. So she called me about the one. He has a dwarf leg and he had an injury. So she didn't think that they would take him at the auction place, which they would not have. So good morning. Good morning. So they were going to bring just that goat. And I said, well, what are you doing with the other two? I need more goats. Like I need a hole in my head, but I couldn't bear to think that these goats were going to be killed and eaten. And they were her, you know, I'm like, they're, she's like, they're my babies. I know some of you might want to eat your kids sometimes, but you really shouldn't. <laughs> sure, you <laughs> Can I come in here, please? Oh, hello. Oh, so we're going in here for a second. Because this is one of them. So she brought me all three goats. This is Lexi, the one that we already 
had received from Jackson and we had our friends rescue her about what a month and a half ago to two months yep Marty and Joy and their sons rescued her and brought her down to us and now this is Mary Moo Moo she was one of the ones she's about <laughs> five to six months old she's we shy. estimate come on Mary Moo Moo Wait, come on over. Wait, Matt, you have to come over here because now you can see our boy. Matt, where did you go? <laughs> All right, Matt's not listening again. Stella was over there. So here's Stella in the corner laying down. We have Mary Moo Moo, and then you see who's looking through the fence. This is Henry. He is one of the goats that came here that was going. You can go over top, Matt. Yes, you can. Not that tall. Though. Yes, <laughs> you want me to t help you? Stop. <laughs> so this is Henry. He is not neutered. I don't know if anybody has ever smelled a not neutered male goat, but they have a god awful smell. I I've smelled them when I was young, and it came right back. Oh, and Sweden was watching. Is that what you said? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sweden's in the house. Thank you very much for tuning in. So. We have Henry and then we have the guy with the hurt leg, which is Carson. So we have Mary Moo Moo, Henry and Carson. So they're separated right now. However, they are together because he is not neutered. You know what that means? They can procreate. They can have babies. And I don't know what the situation was before they came. Hopefully we will not be having any babies here. Um, they are due to get neutered on Tuesday. Our Dr. Byer comes to us and neuters them for us he is wonderful and there's mary moo moo we call her moo or moo moo <laughs> and lexi so there they are, have been having so much fun we got them some steps because goats love to climb they like to jump up on things as you saw on billy and lily's pen before it's really high and they jump up on steps and and, oh and go off all right there's there's beanie he's always he thinks he's like playing king of the mountain and he always wins he flies up there and kind of hangs out here a lot. This is a wild turkey. <laughs> Matt's a little slow today. <laughs> so this is his beard. People don't realize it feels like horse hair, like a horse's mane, a little stiffer maybe. But that's how you can tell how old that they are. Um, so you know that's a male. Does he like his beer pulled? He likes his beer. He likes to be petted in general. Does he like it? And he, is, he doesn't like it combed, I don't think. Well, maybe with just my fingers. And then he is a sweetheart. He is a wild turkey. However, he was domesticated. He, you're not allowed to keep wild animals unless you have permits, like say for, our, for example, our skunk. Um, he just hangs out, and if Beanie wants to take a walk, he can. But let me tell you, he does not leave. He loves it here. And he has lots of brothers and sisters and gets a lot of attention and doesn't have to go foraging in the forest for his food. It's here. We give it to him. Okay. So the new babies, you can see how close in size they are. We're super excited because they, they get along really well and play really well together. Uh, Stella, the fainting goat, the big white one in the corner, is like the mom of those two, but she is not the mom. She, she's the nanny. She's the nanny. That's a that's a good one. Yep. She she's helping raise them and teaching them teaching them the way of the goat world. And they're very happy here. And you can see he wants to be over with them so much. So maybe after Tuesday we can reunite them so we put them next to each store to each other so they can still be together without being together. <laughs> okay. So golf tournament, we talked about the about wedding. Boss oh, boss gobs. So we're having boss gobs day appreciation for 501c3 charities. I think that's a good thing. It's on what day? I don't know. Shoot. <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie, we need text, you. Text Bonnie, Matt. type in. I think. She'll, I she'll think tell us in a if she's watching it, she's with her grandkids. Oh. Um, I think it's Thursday. It's all over the, like, it's on, I was watching That's the news TV. this morning, and I was like, oh, there's Boscovs. It's called Friends and Family, I think. If you go and mention the Funny Farm, they will give you 20% off. Boom. Just like that. And 
that money will go to our organization to help the animals. So, uh, Boscov's October 14th and 15th. Katrina, yeah. Katrina answered. Thank you. Friends helping friends. Friends Gail. helping friends. Thank you, Katrina. Oh, no, that was Gail. Oh, Gail. All of you are always helping us because <laughs> uh, I never know what what's going on. So, friends helping friends, and it's October. Oh, Bonnie said. The 14th and 15th. The 14th and 15th, so it's two days, so I really messed that up. So it's two days. So if you go and want to shop at Boscov's in Egg Harbor Township, you, when you get to the checkout, say, we would like friends helping friends help the funny farm, and they give you 20% off. It's two days, like a sale without even needing a coupon. You just right. have to know the secret password is funny farm. Boscov's, Matt is from upstate New York, so he has no clue what Boscov's oh, is. It's here. kind of like a Macy's. Oh, okay. Um, they oh, sell they're everything. They're Suitcases, clothing, like makeup. Sears. Kind of like a Sears, yeah. Yeah, like a Sears. Sears, Macy, any of that. Kind of Jason like used to be JCPenney. Not like Home Depot, no. Okay. More like a department store. This is why people have to drive really slow. Because <laughs> then we walk out. Hi, Robin. Oh, she saw the wedding yesterday. It just, popped up. it just popped up. It just popped up for me too. Matt's like, let's do a live video. <laughs> so thank you. And this is Robin's one of our newer volunteers. You've been here three weeks. Uh, just three. This is my third time. I think her, I her third time, and we're working her like a dog. But she's she's been wonderful. She's ho horse poop, chicken water. What else have you done? Feet. You fed. She rakes a lot. So she's one of those volunteers. You know, we say, what do you like to do? Robin's like. I'll just do anything you need me to do. There's always, we talked about manure earlier, so you're right on schedule with that. Um, I run out of energy, but... She runs out of energy, and how many hours are you here at a time? Probably about three. Three. Are we allowed to ask her age? 71. She's 71! <laughs> I never would have, I was going to say... I would have said 50. I was going to say lower 60s, <laughs> because I'm at least honest, Matt. Um, but... So I don't care if you're three or 83, if you want to come for an hour, two hours, three hours until you don't feel like it being here anymore, then you can just do whatever you can do and every little bit helps. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> See you soon. So Robin's, Robin's here. We did lose a lot of our retired folks they went to due, due to, to the pandemic. They're oh, afraid yeah, yeah. to be out of their houses at all. So. We lost a lot of our volunteer volunteers here because especially Tuesdays, everybody's back to work or back to school. Even if you're doing it from home, you're back. So we're always looking for volunteers. And if it's on a Sunday and you have your team coming or an hour or two, even if somebody just says, I want to socialize kittens, sit there with the kittens. It helps. Every little bit helps. We have feeding the animals, scoop and poo, watering them, petting them, grooming them. Uh, we have jobs working the snack bar, working our store, helping cut out vegetables to feed them. Uh, I mean, it's endless. The opportunities are endless. And we run on donation only. We have no paid people. So during the COVID, everybody's like, oh, I'll get that PPE loan and we'll be all good because I'll pay all my people. I don't have paid people. So we were in a pickle. I'm like, what are we going to do? So. For those who know me, I work full time. I'm a graphic designer and photographer. So thank goodness I had my job to help out a bit, but it wasn't enough. So um, we had to apply for loans, and you know, thankfully we were able to get one. You have a question? Matt's yeah, raising his hand like he has a question. Who wants to know if she can shop at any Boscov or if it's just one? You know, hey Bonnie, <laughs> or anybody that knows that answer. I know some other people. I don't know if you have to shop at I Egg Harbor Township. My aunt Sue lives in Philadelphia, um, Pennsylvania, and uh, I guess they're all over the place. So I, I don't know if it has to be a certain store. So. Maybe somebody can answer my aunt Sue. You guys are always like answering all the questions because I usually don't know some of the answers. Oops. Someone just said, let me see who it is. Like, Let's go see some animals. Lenny. Lenny Bavero? Lenny just said, tell everyone if they, if they donate to the Funny Farm, he'll match up to $2,500. Lenny Bavaro? Yeah. He, Lenny Bavaro and Cookie own Reed's Farm. And they are like our brother and sister farm because I can't say just brother or sister. They are wonderful, and they're in Egg Harbor Township. They're growing organic um, fruits and vegetables. They're going to be helping out um, special needs folks that need to have jobs. 
kind of all the time. We only do Tuesday and Sunday because I'm closed the other days just because we're I'm at work usually. Okay, Bonnie so, said that if you're ready. Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let me go back to Lenny. So right. Lenny just said, because they might not hear you, although you do have a loud voice, Stop. that if anybody donates, that he will match. Yep. So up to 2500 Up to 2500 Go, Lenny. All right. So thank you, guys. And like I said, they're wonderful. He, they, uh, Reed's Farm had donated to us a couple enclosures. I had gone over to see their place, and I'm like, oh, that's really nice. And all of a sudden, poof, they showed up in the mail. They're they're wonderful people. And a good reason to donate here is that no one's paid. And yes, so Matt's telling me. Good reason to donate to us when you can is no one is paid. 100% of your donations go to these animals. And when you come, you'll see it. You're like, wow, there's a lot here. And you can see that um, the love and care that the volunteers give them, everybody, you know, everybody needs love. And especially these animals that were rescued from... A lot of them were very bad home situations, unwanted, abused, neglected, disabled. And then there's, you know, those, some of them were loved, but they just weren't able to keep them. And, uh, you know, it's all different stories. All of them have a story, but we don't concentrate on the where they came from. We concentrate on where they are and where they're going. Here's Cowboy. This is our oldest goat. I always show her. That's Fiona. And Canyon is very upset, the one-eyed horse, because he wants to get out. Because he's usually out all the time. Good morning. He's usually out all the time. However, with one eye, it's kind of hard to see the rugrats when they're walking around. So we don't want anybody getting run over. So we kind of leave him in. So everybody asks, why is his eye? Do you know how he lost his eye? No. His eye was poked out by a piece of barbed wire at another farm. And he also has a sway back. But people say, is that from people riding him too much? Nope. It, he's like Lady Gaga. He was born that way. I know you, a lot of you have heard the same stories that watch our Debbie Carr that's always on. People are new. But there are a lot of people new because of our wedding yesterday, not my wedding, the wedding that was held at the Funny Farm. Uh, it was back at the big barn. They were got married under a tree. It was a very intimate, lovely wedding. Animals were all around. You cried. I cried just for a second. I'm not a big <laughs> crier. <laughs> Matt cried. I did not. Actually, the groom Matt cried. It was so touching. Yeah, we was, were pretty far away, and he's like, "I'm not much of a romantic." He's such. He was more romantic. Both of them cried because it was so touching. I mean, it was really a it sweet, sweet wedding. wedding. You have to come over this side so you can see him. Oh, okay. Debbie Carr says she's coming here from Idaho to help you volunteer. Debbie Carr is going to come from Idaho. That will be so much fun. So, can you see? She wants to volunteer. Hey, you! That was not very nice. He's like, "Mom, <laughs> let me out." You don't do that. Uh oh, someone's coming to protect his mother. <laughs> Billy, you don't. So he's ticked at mom because I'm locking him up. So he wants to see me moving this or he's not having it. What? You're not allowed to do that. And especially to other people, you better, he knows it's me. So hopefully he won't be biting anybody else. <laughs> that was not nice. He's laughing. You know how um, your kids have their naughty days? Mm, animals do too. The other day, I'm like, what is with these animals? I saw that again. Not nice. They no. Naughty. They were naughty, and it was a full moon, and I thought, okay, <laughs> Billy. So he used to get a really bad rap. You can see he's a sweetie pie. Look, he's like, oh, he likes his chin rub, too, just like, just like Yogi does. They all want to just be petted and loved. Hey! <laughs> hey! Excuse you! He just tried to bite me in the back. Hey! <laughs> We don't do that at the Funny Farm. He, 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 He's, he was, on the he, was so he was being jealous because I was giving love into somebody else. <laughs> He's like, well, how about if I bite Matt? <laughs> I heard he fell in the pool and almost the manure pit. <laughs> Look, he's like, hello, I'm right here. I would like to be scratched. I would have scratched you, but you've been, you're being a bad boy this morning, aren't you? Aren't you? He's like, just let me out. He's like, Billy, open the gate. Okay. Billy's trying to open the gate for us. Billy has. So, Bill, wait, let's go over and see our, our uh, Carson. He was named after Carson Wentz. So, he had this poor goat. The vet is coming out to see him. He has a dwarf leg. So, his one leg, you can see it's he's holding it up. Uh, he actually has an injury. And his nails are about seven inches long. And... 
I don't know that they've ever even been to a vet, so the vet's going to check them out. That's why um, he we're separating them. We don't want him to get more injuries, so the vet is going to have to look at, besides neutering him, he's going to have not the best day on Tuesday, but for the rest of his life it will help him. But you can see his foot, how he holds it up, and he walks on three legs, so we're hoping that it's not such a bad injury where he doesn't have to have it amputated. But if he does, he will fit in just fine at the bunny farm because yep. we have goats with no ears. We have missing leg creatures, missing eyes, missing ears. Did I say ears already? I might have repeated myself there. But we have a, a lot of disabilities. We have Tucker, the mega esophagus dog that has to sit up in a high chair to eat. He's a mouse. What are we looking at, Matt, now? Yeah, oh, our donated. our donated shade. Remember, it used to be red. We just got some donated shades for them. They have their house that they can go into. It's their run out. So they go in there where there's hay, and they have their food areas in there. We have salt licks, which are really important. A lot of people get goats and think, oh, and it'll be easy. I just have to feed them and water them, and that's it. It's not it. They have to be dewormed um, four times a year. They have to have salt licks. They have to have salt in their diets. Their goat, the hoof trimmings are the biggest thing. It's the hardest thing. A lot of farriers, they're the guys who do the horse hooves, the guys and gals, um, they won't, a lot of them won't do the goats. And uh, I do mine and I've had people that ask me. Um, okay, somebody just asked a question. Matt's telling Jean. me. Jean asked, is this place open? We are open Tuesdays and Sundays from 8 to 4. And she can bring her kids, right? You can bring your kids. We have people that bring their newborns it cracks me up they're safe here um you do have to sign a waiver <laughs> after i just say they're safe here because you never know if they're going to get nippy you have to use common sense they are animals uh we're open tuesdays and sundays if you go to our website funnyfarmrescue.org left hand side of the page it'll say visit waiver form here fill the waiver out it takes you a few minutes you only have to do it once and then hit submit. It will go into our system. You can do it from your phone. You don't have to print it out. People are like, I don't own a printer. I, you know, whatever. You, I think most people have phones, and if they don't, then you know someone that has a phone. Cindy Lewis said that she saw these goats on her mail room. So Cindy Lewis saw yeah, these goats on our them. mail room. She, she, Cindy Lewis was the previous owner. It's the first time I said that right. Previous owner of Tucker, <laughs> my mega esophagus dog, who, while, if you notice, it's really kind of calm out here. Did you know why? All the dogs are inside. <laughs> For now. For now. Driving the equipment, I can't um, let them out because I don't want, sometimes they're so little and I don't have those surround cameras and my truck has it. So I, I don't run anybody over. So I usually have somebody watching me, make sure there's nobody around while I'm driving it, just so we don't hurt anybody. Um, should we go see Lightning? We didn't put his sign on him. Oh, yeah. Let's ask Miss Cindy. So we'll do that real quick. And I don't have my watch today. I feel we'll have lost. The dogs out. Okay. The sign first. How about that? Yeah, I think we need to do the sign first before we let the dogs out. So we are open. People are asking, can we come with our kids? You're allowed any age, and you can be any age to volunteer as well. So we're open Tuesdays and Sundays from 8 to 4 all year long. There is no admission. Hi, guys. It's free to get in. Uh, we run on donation only. Excuse me. Miss Cindy, do you have the sign for lightning? All right, girlfriend. Thank you. Thanks. Good morning, Molly Dolly. Hi, guys. Yeah, he's like, I don't believe you. He doesn't. He's checking it out. Which one's Cowboy? Cowboy is the black the and black white one. one. Okay. He's mostly black. He's kind of half and half, like an Oreo. Um, you'll see him because if he sees you with a bucket, yeah. he'll be he'll be coming <laughs> to say hello. Yes. Oh, everybody's hand washing stations are here. We have. The, so we were popular before the pandemic. Just saying, because we're a farm, yeah. so we always had these. We didn't have to like rush and put them in place. Good thing, because I knew that I heard that they weren't even available. They were like back ordered for people. So we were already set to go. Oh, I'm sorry. This is. Please do not feed me. It could be me. <laughs> is this like, uh, I should say, please, let me just say, feed me. <laughs> Good morning. So, yeah. So, Chucky had a sign on him one time. Chuck, yep, Chucky was my mega esophagus dog before Tucker, the black German Shepherd. 
mega esophagus is an enlargement of the esophagus and it doesn't allow food to go down into their belly naturally where the esophagus will squeeze the food to push it down. Well, it's so large and it's a moving muscle, so it's not operable. So these dogs have to sit up in a high chair and have them have the food go down by gravity. So he had to wear a similar sign after he had surgery a few times. Um, his head not allowed to play today because he had he had stitches. He was very upset at mom. So this is lightning. You can see I put the sign on a little late because look at all the apples and carrots around him. So he is 38 or 39 years old. He is my oldest horse, so he's going to eat a few apples. A few apples aren't going to hurt. However, he stands in front of the store normally and is like, as soon as people come out with their buckets, he's the first one they see. And he eats whatever he can eat, right? I don't even have anything. So can you see his mouth is actually getting foamy? So when a horse gets old like him, they have to do different things. They call it floating their teeth. Um, they keep growing. They have to file them down. He's missing half his teeth. So he'll eat and some of it just comes out or it doesn't get chewed up enough and then he chokes. So last week we had a terrible, terrible scare. And we had a car, our vet, Dr. Sharon Valmcourt, and I said, I think he's colicking. He kept trying to lay down. Did you ever eat too many apples <laughs> and you get like a stomach ache? He just was like, yeah, I had it last week. I did that with one apple. And you kind of get a stomach ache and you get all foamy. And that's kind of what happened to him. And it was right after visiting day. So she, the vet knew over the phone that he was choking. Horses can't supposedly can't throw up. I have seen a few throw up and it was him, uh, but he couldn't get up whatever was in there. So we had to put a hose in his mouth and they think it was stuck. An apple or something was stuck to the top of his mouth. See how he's profusely chewing. And most of the times, I mean, you know how you're supposed to chew your food? I forget how many times. <laughs> no, it's not. Would you say four? Well, it's like, it's like it, you have to chew your food like 74 times. It's some ridiculous <laughs> mat. Matt's like, one, two, oh, he's thinking of the lollipop. How many licks does it get to the center? No, Matt, that's not what we're talking about. You're supposed to chew your food a lot of times. I forget the number. Somebody's probably going to know it. But we did have to flush him out, and we had, I, I had other horses where I had to go in his mouth, shove my arm in there, and pull it out. So he's eating a couple apples and carrots, and they're really little off the ground that people were feeding him. But uh, after this, he's not allowed to have any more. So you can only have a morning snack and that's it. Okay, buddy? So he looks super skinny. He's like, I'm out. Bye. He's mad. So he's very, very thin because he is so old. He just, we feed him three times a day. He eats way more than any other horse. However, they, he's just going to stay here until the end of his life, which unfortunately the vet says is not long now. Very sad to say. He, had, he, I think he's like a cat though. He's had like nine lives. He's come back a few times. So these are the buckets you get filled with apples, carrots, and lettuce. Actually, lettuces are a little bit bigger. And uh, excuse you. Yes, it's for donation. You, we sell them in our store. Here, I'll move them. Come on, move. Go ahead. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. You're going to cross this way? All right, you cross this way. All right, we're good now. All right. Thank you for driving so slow. Thanks. All right, we'll let the dogs out, and then I think, hey, Gig, can we borrow you? Or maybe Kim Miles. We'll go get yeah, Kim. Kim. She's closer. Glass door. Gig's having fun in there with, with her baby goats. I think she, she adopts them like, like she's the grandma. Good morning. Oh, there's Debbie the Goose. We had her for quite some time. She thinks she's, she's the UPS man's girlfriend, <laughs> although I, they kind of split up because... <laughs> UPS almost. Oh, no, things are on again. Yeah, things are on again, off again, right? Okay, here's a mommy and her baby, Peacock. And this is a different mom, not. Oh, wait, no, no, that's. Is that Lucy? No. Right? I think that is Lucy. So that's Ricky's wife's baby. So this is another group that hatched out this year. So we don't really let things procreate here normally, but Peacock's. They are, oh, let's, should we go this see the skunks? Annalise, Annalise, will you let the dogs out Bloody in one second? All right, Bloody but what about, oh, you have to go to the sliding door. All right, should we walk over and then we'll see the skunk and then we'll end there.
Leslie, stay there for a minute, okay? Sorry, I, I, if I, I scream. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hi. Good. You You're on Leslie. You got back to me on, on email, and I saw the wedding last night. Oh, and I brought great. my mom. Awesome. Oh, yes, love it. Thank you. oh, I'm so glad you guys came. Daughter. And the daughter. She's like, hello. She yes. forgot her daughter in that statement. And Lorenzo kissed. Oh, Lorenzo. You got a kiss from Lorenzo? Okay. So if you have somebody at home, don't be telling them you're getting kissed at the funny farm. It's, oh, okay. it's okay. They're going to be jealous, though. We have Lorenzo the llama. If you have a snack and you say, can I have a kiss? He goes up and he gives you a kiss. And very gentle. Very gentle. He's a very gentle kisser. So he's right here. Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate that. Thanks, Kim. All right. You have to go there. Yeah. So, Matt, come on, Matt. There's Lorenzo, the kisser. He's like the kissing bandit. All right. Yes, please. She's, go she's going to do it right now. Calm down, Matt. Calm down, boy. Matt is the most patient person I know. Not. Here we go. Hi, puppies! Right here! Hi! Did we leave you locked in there? I'm so sorry! This is Tucker, the mega esophagus dog that I was telling you. He's two and a half years old. He has to sit up in his high chair and eat. Uh, he doesn't really know he has a disability. He thinks he just has the really cool chair and the other dogs don't. This is Farley, the funny farm dog. He is uh, our first book that Matt ever wrote for the farm. Uh, it's a story, a true story about a goat. I have dog hair in my mouth already. Um, a true story about a duck, not a goat. A duck that gets lost and leaves the group. We rescued him from a storm at a Toyota dealership, his name was Camry. And then it shows about how all of these different species all get along, and if they all get along, so can your kids, right? And we try and start them as young as we can to get them acclimated and to understand that we are to be kind to one another. It's our kindness program. And we teach about disabilities and how we say that everybody has something going on. You never know if we are sad inside. And you don't know what's going on in that person's life. It's, you know, people can be cruel to one another and we're trying to teach them not to be through the animals. And <laughs> Tucker, <laughs> Tucker thinks he's playing. And then we have Puppy and Gunner. And you Gunner, want you want to come up? That's Gunner. The, we call them the gremlins. Oh, excuse you. You want some mama kisses. What are you doing? What's my big boy doing? What are you doing? All right, all right. Oh, am I giving him hugs? I know. All right, Brooke. So we have Brooklyn. She's my worst dog. <laughs> I say that jokingly, but she steals. All right. Okay. Now everybody's playing. All right. You know how your kids show off when there's a camera? Excuse you. Hey. They're, they actually are playing. Excuse me. You know how your kids fight like in your... Oh, right, we're going to end with, some, with the skunk. Yes. Hey. Shh. I'm screaming in people's ears. I'm so sorry. They were locked up because they are too naughty when I'm trying to show certain things. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. Thanks, Adelise. Thanks, Kim. Somebody was asking for a cowboy. He's hanging out with the skunk. All right, now he's leaving because he's like, they're here. The animals are here. So this is a mother-daughter team that come and volunteer. Leslie started to come first, and then she's like, Mom! So her mom didn't even realize that she was going to be volunteering, and one day we were so busy, I was just like, can you go help with the cats? So you've been volunteering since, whether you know it or not, right? Well, I kind of try to hang out. Yeah, she hangs out, but we call on her. She's our backup. So if you just want to enjoy some animals and help out once in a while, you can do that. You don't have to be like full-time, full-time volunteer. If we need something, we'll say, Hey, you, can you go get this for me? <laughs> but here's the skunk. Did you show the skunk that? Oh, my goodness. I was. This is a skunk. That's Stinky the skunk. So we bring him out. He is nocturnal, so he's usually asleep right now. However, he knows that people are here on Tuesdays and Sundays, and he does wake up and wants to see people. He has working hours. He is on an hour, off an hour. We, we let him sleep a lot more than that. We usually bring him out two or three times a day for the entire 
eight hours that we are open. <laughs> Don't wear your best clothes because you can see Leslie's mom's shirt is very muddy. Well, maybe she just didn't wash it. That didn't uh, happen here. She's, we say, <laughs> we say well, always she's wearing her funny farm sneakers. They're black, so they don't show the oh, dirt or the poop. Idea. They were white. When and you can see <laughs> Caesar, the the dog here. The he's a Bichon Frise. He is sitting right with the skunk, the and they all get along. They know the skunk. They were raised with the skunk, and the skunk was in my house in the beginning. Except since they are nocturnal, it was like having a party every night while I was trying to sleep. <laughs> so you can see it's not raining yet. We are supposed to get that storm Delta later today. Um, we were saying Nor'easter Nick, please hold it off for us because we have a lot of people that want to visit. Not a ton of things to do. It's pretty warm. You see, I'm, I've been running around like a chicken today, but um, it was, it's in the 70s, I believe, right? Is it in the 70s or 60s? 60s at least. It's almost, 70. it's almost 70 degrees. It's just overcast. So you don't get hot. It's a beautiful farm fall day. So if you want to come out, we are here from 8 to 4, Tuesdays and Sundays. We are located at 6908 Railroad Boulevard in Mays Landing, New Jersey. 45 minutes from Atlantic City and an hour from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We run solely on donation. Every person that works here is a volunteer. No one is paid 100% of your, when you come, if you have a couple dollars to stick in the bucket, that's wonderful. If you don't, it's okay. There's no pressure. You can still come and visit. So if you are in between jobs or you lost your job and you're out of unemployment or whatever the case may be, you can still come and enjoy yourself. Or if you wanna help out and you're not doing anything, if you aren't working, it makes you feel good to be able to help these animals that can't care and water or feed uh, themselves. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully you guys all got to see the wedding. We waited a very long time to see that bride, but it was worth the wait, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, so that is saved on our Facebook and I don't think Matt put it on YouTube yet, but it will be up. We have a, our own YouTube channel, the Funny Farm YouTube channel, and we do post them up there eventually and you can just go to whatever episode that you want. It's kind of like my DVR, right? On, on Eleanor your cable. Eleanor says, thank you as always. I love the live video. Eleanor, thanks for tuning in and thank you for everybody tuning in. Uh, around the world. We love seeing where you're from, so please let us know where you're from. And have a great rest of the Sunday, and stay safe.